another adventure. I got my ball cap on this time. Hopefully, I can see the sun hitting me on the face. I might have to close my sunroof, which totally sucks because I love the sun, but the sun don't like me. I was talking to my mom about it because I do have prescription meds, the cream, like the stuff that you saw on my nose, um, that I do put on my face when stuff like that happens. And this consensus that everybody keeps telling me is that they think it's the medications that I'm on. I don't think it's my thyroid med because I've had thyroid meds for a long time. And I'm the person who's always had crystal clear skin. I've never ever had any trouble like this ever in my life. It was like I turned 40 and everything changed. So I'm wearing a ball cap today, but it might come down to where I have to get, I do have one, but I need one a little bit better. A, you know, the big full floppy hat that goes, you know, it comes like down on your cheeks because it's like in my tees where I get real bad. I have a little bit left from yesterday, but not too bad. But anyways, enough about my face. I'm going to pick up mom today. So it stayed home. Um, that mile and a half kind of did her in yesterday. <laughs> she's a little beat <laughs> so mom just wants to go for a walk today she don't want to like do a hike so we're gonna go somewhere you've never been before which is great we're gonna go to um, the brick oh gosh where are we going the brick reservoir um, it's supposed to have like a beautiful walking path I've never been there before supposedly it's supposed to be really beautiful um, it is spring so everything isn't quite green yet but um, everything is coming back to life. And then yesterday, Savannah and I were talking on the way home and we were, she really loves to watch these YouTubers that do, um, I had to put my window up a little bit for you guys, that, that do all this like exploring stuff. And um, she's really into it. So I, came home she looked up a few things I came home and looked up a bunch of bunch of things I looked for abandoned places to explore in New Jersey and oh my goodness guys the amount of places that you can go to explore in New Jersey like some of them are real creepy some of them say they're haunted some of them are just really cool. They have a lot of history behind them. There was a lot, believe it or not, in the Pine Barrens. So, which I've always wanted to go. I have said that since the moment we arrived here. I have to go visit the Pine Barrens. I just have this like little obsession about the Pine Barrens. Never been there, but I want to go. <laughs> so I found these three abandoned silos in Tom's River, which is... I live in Brick, Tom's River is like the next county over, so it's not far at all. So if mom has the time after we walk the Brick Reservoir, I might swing down that way just to see these silos. But they're saying it's one of these really cool ways to, um, you know, start your exploring here in New Jersey. So I was going to ask you wildlings, I know this is a really long intro, but I just, I really chatty this morning. Um, would you guys like some of that, like thrown in with my hiking? Because not only am I hiking New Jersey, um, but my daughter, which I really want to get her involved. That's one thing about my daughter. My daughter is 20 years old. She is autistic. And one of the things that I really have trouble with her sometimes, and Savannah, I know you watch my video, so mommy's not talking about you. I'm just saying one of the things that you do is she she likes to stay in her room and do the things that she really loves, which is a lot of screen time. And there's nothing wrong with that. She has all her friends and they do all this like role playing and all this fun stuff that she loves. But I want her to get out of her room as much as possible and fall in love with the outdoors as much as I love the outdoors because it, you know, for people who like for myself that I fell in love with the outdoors when I began to suffer with anxiety my daughter also has anxiety so I really feel like it will do her a lot of good so if she's really interested in exploring abandoned places then if that's the way to get her out of her room and do something then I'm all on board so how would you guys feel like going about exploring some abandoned places with us so I was thinking about maybe for her 
you know, Easter basket or something. Like I might, that if she's watching this, she's gonna know. But I was thinking about ordering us some like headlamps and maybe exploring some places in the dark. So we got that little bit of excitement creep factor and she gets to wear a headlamp. So I'm a little excited about it. Maybe she will be too. But anyways, where I'm going on my way to pick mom up, we're gonna head over to the Brick Reservoir. It's an absolute gorgeous day out. As you can tell, I can't stay in the house. Um, this is what I'm personally struggling with because for my other channel, I do biblical homemaking over there. And I'm having such a hard time being the homemaker that I should be when I have days like this because I do not want to be in the house. But in order to take care of my home, I, I need to be home and I don't want to. So this afternoon I'll do some homemaking in my home and make a nice dinner. So anyways, let's go. like a deck. So, taking a little break here for a minute, but this is 1.62 miles. And when you gauge it from this point of view, you're like, oh my God, a mile's huge. But when you're walking it like in the woods and stuff, it does not feel this big. But when you see it like this, it looks massive. But anyways, we're here. So we are at the GPS location, I don't know what else you want to call it, of where it's saying the silos are. But we don't see them and it doesn't tell you if it's left or right. It says it's a uh, hundred feet in where the, the power lines are. Well, surely you could, see, you would be able to see silos a hundred feet in. And I don't know if it's the left power lines or the right power lines. And it's too soft to take my car back there. You can tell cars do drive back there, but I'm afraid my car will get stuck because the sand is so soft. You can tell though, people do take their cars back in there, but I have no idea what side they're on. 100 feet isn't too far, but you can walk 100 feet that way and find nothing. You can walk 100 feet this way and find nothing. I have no idea and we can't see them. So we drove all the way out here and I don't know what to do because I honestly, and you can't see them in the distance. Mm -hmm. You can't see them at all. I have no idea which side of the road they're on. So this was kind of a bust. And there's no address post here either. No, there's no address, but the website does say it's by the power lines and GPS. This is where they told us to stop. Yeah, look how tall they are. They're huge silos. Like they should be able to see. You should be able to see them. 
and it's only it's saying it's 100 feet from the road right 100 feet from the road you absolutely should be able to see them but we're on first street this is where the gps told us to stop 100 meters from the road. oh 100 meters in 100 meters is like 300 feet well maybe we wouldn't be able to see them but that that way though we should you know what i mean yeah. this way has a little bit of a hill so maybe we can't see them up over the hill i have no idea and i think the only thing that can get back here is like a jeep a jeep or a dirt or bike a dirt bike mm -hmm. yeah or i don't want a dune buggy dune buggy because <laughs> it's real soft Well, that was a fail. So we'll go find something else to do. <laughs> Look at the little midgey. Sweet! Run with her, Vanna. I don't know where she's going to step. I can't step on her. Go, run. Run. do is throw stuff when there's dogs over there playing go play go play dozer go play what you want to leave you want to go in the little dog park Watch for big birds, Amanda. Stay close. Good morning. It's the next day. So one of the things that I wanted to do yesterday, which was the silos, I'll put a little clip of it, like right here. Um, I mean, I really researched places and I thought this would be really easy because some of the other places that I found are like hours away. So this was just like 10 minutes away and I had no idea which it didn't tell you. It gave you the address, but it didn't tell you it was right or left. And they both looked the same as you probably saw in the video. So that was a bust. So I'm sorry about that because I was really excited about that. But in better news, I ordered new Sunnies off of Amazon. This is the first time I've ever ordered sunglasses off of Amazon, but I wanted to get ones that I knew were really, I, you know, I have a wide face, I'm a plus size person, so I wanted nice big sunglasses, and I wanted to get the nice UVA or whatever that's called, um, because I need to protect my face, is obvious. So I got these, they're called Sojo's. That's what they're called. So I'll show them to you. I think I really like them. So it comes in this little bag. Oh, 
that. I think they're nice. I think for a plus size face, I think they do. And I like how they're darker on top and lighter on the bottom. So I think they look pretty good. So there's my new sunnies for the summer. Hopefully they don't get all scratched up like my other ones. If you all know, I am obsessed with sunglasses. I always, I have like 300 pairs now. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I have like 15, 20 pairs of sunglasses. I really love sunglasses. These are the ones that I've been sporting a lot. And believe it or not, these are the ones I've been wearing a lot. I've had these ones for about over a year, believe it or not. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Yep. I got these sunglasses and they've lasted for over a year at the Dollar Tree. So I wear these ones a lot, but I wanted new sunnies. So that's the update for this morning <laughs> is that uh, I got new sunglasses for the summer. And I don't know what I'm going to get into today because right now it's a little chillier than it was yesterday. But when I took Dozer out just a little bit ago, like uh, 10 minutes ago, it was spitting rain. But I just checked the forecast. The forecast said it's supposed to be sunny and pretty. But it's uh, maybe you guys can see it's so, can you see that? It's super, super foggy. And then in the fog is like that misty rain. So, but the forecast says very sunny. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So we'll see what we get into today.